Hey there, condo investors. This article is from BuzzBuzz Buzz Home, and the headline is Seven Stats That Show Toronto's November Surge in Home Sales. So breaking down some of the numbers from the month of November, we have the stats for the month of November. The big headline that most media outlets picked up on was the fact that prices overall in the GTA um, were down about 2% from this time last year. It's the first time since 2009, apparently, that the actual average sale price, the benchmark price of all the homes traded actually went down year over year. Now, the other big uh, piece here is the continuing story that while houses are struggling, condos, on the other hand, are continuing to do very, very well. Prices are still appreciating in double digits. This time they're up about 16%, which sounds really high. Historically, it is very high, but it's actually down quite a bit from the 20, 25, 30% that we have been seeing in the past year for condos. Uh, so the main takeaway I want to get, uh, other than the fact that condos are doing well and detached houses are struggling, is just the fact that you're going to see more of these headlines moving forward of prices overall being down. This is not cause for alarm. What we're heading into now seasonally is a period where the year before was insanely high and the current year now that we're in is more of a normal market. So you're going to see Price, price is down 5, 10, 15%, perhaps, maybe even as much as 20%. But that doesn't mean that the market is dropping or anything like that. It just means we're coming off an extremely unusual, crazy high that was the first four or five months of 2017. And as we start to compare our stats to those crazy record high, unbelievably record breaking months, the numbers are going to look dramatically lower, but it doesn't mean that we're in any kind of a market crash or anything like that. As investors, we need to learn to look beyond just the stats, the numbers on the page, and see what's really happening there. Joe Public out there is going to see those numbers. It's going to cause some fear with, with some people, perhaps. Some people are going to say, oh, the sky is falling, everything's going down. But come around May, June, July of 2018, when, when those numbers start to turn around and the prices, the average prices start to go back up again year over year, the strategic investors who are, who are understanding the, the trends here are going to be already in place, already taking advantage of opportunities in the market. And it's the Joe public who's going to be jumping back in at that point. And that's obviously not a strategic way to act. And that's, uh, uh, that's how we need to think about it and how we need to approach it as condo investors.